I went to one restaurant, okay, roadside place. That guy gave me Szechuan, <laughs> Szechuan sauce in a mug. Why? Sir, keep that mug tomorrow. You're going to come to this work. Okay, fans of Indian Chinese, make some noise. Fuck yeah. I love Indian Chinese, man. Because Indian Chinese is its own beast. Okay. It's neither Indian nor Chinese. Because Indian food doesn't have soy. And Chinese food definitely doesn't have dhania powder. <laughs> but I love how we as Indian, Indians take any cuisine we want, put paneer and gobi in it. I mean, I'm boss. I think partly the reason why the Chinese are trying to invade our country is because they want to find the guy who came up with the idea for Chinese bhel. <laughs> And there's different kinds of Indian Chinese food, right? There's fancy Indian Chinese, right? And then there's roadside Indian Chinese, right? The way fancy Indian Chinese restaurants come together and name their restaurant is that they play fill in the blanks. It's always dash of China. Fill whatever you want. Aromas of China, taste of China, spices of China, flavors of China, and legacy of China. Or they'll do China dash. Fill whatever you want. Usually something architectural. Right? China house, China gate, China garden, China kitchen, China pavilion. <laughs> or they'll come up with like quirky names, right? Like this one place near my house, it was called Stomach. <laughs> yeah, it's really sweet on their part because they're letting you know what body part is going to get fucked <laughs> if you eat them. <laughs> there was another restaurant, okay? It was called Red Ninja. It's a cool name, right? Except ninjas are fucking Japanese. <laughs> Which is why I love the roadside Chinese restaurants. Yeah. Why do I feel like the people who are cheering are all from the suburbs? <laughs> I love roadside Indian Chinese because it's amazingly decadent food filled with gravy, spices, and instant regret. It is, man. Like, you know, I've, I've never gone past an Indian Chinese restaurant and not gotten intoxicated by that smell. I don't know what drugs they're adding in their masala, but I pass by one that smell comes up, like, oh, fuck, yeah, give me MSG. Right, they really go ahead and create a vibe, right? Because, for example, there's always that one dude who's holding that big wok and he's just tossing the rice. He's on it 24 7. They don't even use that rice. That's just for mood. <laughs> they like to call themselves authentic Chinese. Because nothing says authentic Chinese like Prakash Chinese. I like how all the roadside restaurants, you know, the way they name their places is that they come together and, and come up with random racist sounding Chinese words. Wang Wong. Ching Chong. And if none of them work, then Dragon Chinese. Fuck it. Dude, have you seen how red their gravy is? No matter what they're cooking, the base is still that red fucking gravy. Right? How is your black pepper chicken also red in color? You know, they have like 150 items on their menu and about 200 different ways in which they spell the word Shezwan. Kisi ke baap ko nahi malum correct spelling kya hai. So it's S-E-Z-W-A-N. S-E-C-H-U-A-N. One place I went to, it was written S-A-Y-S-W-A-N. Shezwan. This food is tasty, right? Says who? Says one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they have like 15 different varieties of rice that taste exactly the same. <laughs> Hong Kong rice, Malaysian rice, Vietnamese rice, Singapore rice, 
Fun fact, none of these places are China. <laughs> they love their says one man. <laughs> Fucking love it. I went to one restaurant, okay, roadside place. That guy gave me says one, <laughs> says one sauce in a mug. Why? Sir, keep that mug. Tomorrow, you're going to come to this job. Have you noticed that every time they serve you the food, it's always in those weird orangish brown plates and bowls, right? No matter what part of India you go in, it's always that orangish brown bowl plate, right? My theory is, is that when they bought it, it was white. But it's years of says one. <laughs> you know, my favorite dish to eat uh, at the roadside Indian Chinese place is this dish called chicken chopper rice. <laughs> okay, all andheri peeps, good. <laughs> chicken chopper rice is the answer to the question. What if you want all the items on the menu, but in one dish? No, that dish should come with its own hazmat suit. Because if you eat that and you fart, you might be pulled up for biological warfare. It's the kind of food that makes your stomach call up the other organs the next day and not report for work. Look, appendix, you don't have to worry about it today. Why did you say that? Oh, Chuti, you ate chicken chopper rice. Right, but they are really particular about hygiene and cleanliness, right? They always clean their utensils, yes. But at the exact same time that you're eating the food, <laughs> right? And the process of their cleaning is they take a massive tub, fill it with water, take the plate and just dunk it. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you've not cleaned my plate, but you've definitely baptized it. My plate is now called Chris. 